human testing. In part one of this video series, we looked at the physical properties and appearance of the Hurricane 3 in the NEO. In part two, we looked at the relative speed, rebound throw height, and reaction to incoming spin. However, in part three, we're going to look at what four of our league members thought of these rubbers and what they would like to use in terms of serving, pushes, flicks, top spin drives, blocking, looping, and chopping. Tony Rigby, who has been playing for over 40 years and is one of our head coaches and who plays for Astray in a Premier League, is an all-round player. Jericho Mayer has been playing for over seven years and plays for Garstang in our first division. Jericho is a topspin attack player and Paul Robinson and Dean Wormsley were both offensive topspin players who play for Astra in our Premier Division. Both Paul and Dean have been playing for 14 years. Lastly, the players gave their opinions of these rubbers in terms of control, speed, spin and how they actually compare to rubbers that they're using at the moment, including Tinner G05 and Eula Green Power. Serving. I didn't find any difference. Um, I thought the red one was just a tweet, uh, produced more spin when I tried to So you preferred the red one for serving? Yeah. And you couldn't tell the difference? No. Okay. One, one spin seemed harder than the other. The yellow was harder than the red. It just, uh, but it didn't make any difference. Yeah, I felt, I felt the red a little bit more uh, when I hit the ball, whereas the, the yellow I can't really feel anything. So the red was a bit softer? Yeah. Push. <laughs> Again, no, I, I didn't find any difference really. I could do it easily with ball, no problem. So, uh, you were comfortable with pushing with both, Tony? Yeah, yeah. Was there any Especially reason? Especially on my backhand. Jericho? Um, I found the red and I tried it on uh, trying to serve back uh, Tony's serve, trying to hit it back. Uh, I was more consistent with the red. But I felt there was no difference, but just, it just showed that I had more control over the red rather than the yellow. Flick. Flicks? Which did you prefer? The red was better for me than the flick. Just a little bit more quicker. Quicker, any more spin, and, and I could do more with it. So I put a bit more spin on it, flick it fast. I just thought the other was a little bit small, a bit slow. Jericho? Uh, I think it's just a tweet red again, but I don't know. I can't really tell the difference, like truly, but I just okay. the, red, the red was slightly, I guess, more control again. I thought Jericho was better with the red. Top spin drive. Which did you prefer for the top spin drive and why? Red. red is a little bit more bouncy. I could control it okay with the other one and every now and then it could get it. It was seen a bit, I don't know, inconsistent. But the, uh, the red, it was more likely, definitely more likely. Better red for you for Yes. Yeah. I'm contrasted Tony, I felt the the yellow was a lot more faster because it was the, the sponge was harder. I can't, I can't really push it more. With the red, was trying, I'm trying to put even more. It's more spinning rather than driving. So, yellow. Rather than yellow. Yeah. So I prefer the yellow when driving, just hitting it straight to back. So you preferred the yellow and you preferred the red, Tom? Yeah, and I found Jerry Cole's red was already to return and did the yellow. Sorry? When I was defending it. Getting it back, I found the yellow was easier to get back, but the red was more spin on it. Okay. That's that's what you were saying before for you, Jericho. It's the yellow is a flatter, faster yes. one. It's a drive rather than, rather than kind of like a toss spin. If you were talking about the drive, then I would prefer yellow because it just goes straight to spin. Blocking. No difference on back ends because I didn't block or see anything. I didn't have to change anything. The red's a little bit lively, so I could do a little bit more with it. And certainly on the floor, I'm uh, better to block it than I for my style. Okay, Jericho, on the re returning of the, you were driving into the blocks, yeah. which gave you more problems? The red blocking the top spinning driving into the. Well, I 
the yellow was uh, gave me a lot more problems because it came back a lot quicker than the red. Mm. The yellow was quite much faster. So what's giving you problems is the speed, and what you prefer is the spin. From what you're saying. Yeah. Looping. Yeah. Looping. Uh, you were looping, Jericho. Which did you prefer to loop with? Uh, I want. I prefer looping with the uh, red because they had more spin. Whereas the I couldn't. I like I said at the first place. I couldn't uh, feel the touch of the yellow. Mm -hmm. So, so I didn't really. I didn't have no control of how much spin I'm putting on. So, so most of them, it's going either outside the table. And uh, was the red? Yeah, he, he had more spin. But uh, when he came back from Tony, he had a lot more spin. So I just, I just knew that the red was giving more spin because the capture spin is even more and bigger. Okay, Tony. So from your point of view, you were chopping open to defend against the looping. Which one was the harder one to defend against? The harder red. When Jericho felt more relaxed with it, it was harder to get. That, there was more spin on that one, but the, the, the yellow was easy to get by. There wasn't a lot on it, and it was slow at plenty of time. But the red gave me a little bit more problems. It's also to get more spin on myself, as Jericho said. I had to draw the player against him with the yellow because it was easy for me. Okay. Chopping. Yeah, I, I played Wheeler first and I felt okay with it, even in the knockabout beforehand. Yeah, when I changed to the red, I felt more happy with the red. I could do more with it, I could, I could do more shots with it. The, uh, the yellow, I could chop okay with it, uh, but I couldn't mix it the same. It just came, didn't come quick enough for me. But the red, was, to me, was just a little bit softer and a bit. I could do more with it. But if it stayed on the back long, I don't know. But yeah, I could do more with it. Jericho, from your point of view, looping, which was the harder one to loop against? Cause I agree with Tony, the red uh, gave me more problems to try and loop the ball, uh, whereas the yellow, you can easily go over through it, was the red, it just, it just made me more movement and try and put more spin, counter spin, because... Is this again yeah, where the, the, yes. the red was generating more backspin? Yeah, yes. I could control it well with the yellow, but the, the, I got more out of the red to do more with it, to mix it better. So you can see from our testing that the Hurricane 3 was a preferred rubber in the majority of categories. But what did the players think about them in terms of speed? Which was the faster? Okay, and of the two that you were testing, yeah. which was the quicker one, the red or the yellow? The red, to me. The red, okay. Which did you think was the quicker of the two others? Um, I'd definitely say the red tape side was quicker, definitely. I found the red livelier to me. Lively or faster? Faster, everything. Okay, Jericho, from your point of view, which was the faster? The faster, you mean like drive wise? Speed wise. Speed wise, I would go with yellow. Except for Jericho, all of the players felt that the Neo was the faster of the two rubbers. But what did they think about them in terms of control? From the point, viewpoint of control, which, was, which did you feel more comfortable with? Yes. I, just, I just felt more comfortable with it. It's... Could you feel the ball better? Yeah. 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 Especially on that blade, which seems to be a bit heavy. Control, I'd probably, I'd probably say the yellow. The yellow felt slightly slower to me, a bit more control. Um, more control was probably with the yellow rubber, because again, I'd say that's a lot slower. So I had more control with the yellow side. But again, I think that's probably too slow for my game. OK, Jericho, which do you think from a few points of control? Control is the red. I, I felt the touch of the ball better than the yellow. Because when I, when, I was, when, I, when I was hitting the yellow, I just trying to get it back and I just didn't feel the ball hitting my back. Whereas the, the red, I can feel what I, what I was doing with it. Yeah, I think that I mean control both. I could control both of them, but the red I could feel it better, and I could do something with it. I felt I couldn't do as much with the uh, with the hardest one. Control is a relative concept, dependent on a player's ability and personal preferences. However, Jericho and Tony preferred the Hurricane Three Neo because it had better feel, whereas Dean and Paul felt that the Hurricane Three was easier to control because it was slower.
But what did they think about them in terms of ability to generate spin? In terms of spin, which did you find easy to create spin with? Uh, again, I'd say the red. Um, spin, I'd probably say the red rubber again. Because? Um, I found with the, with the yellow rubber that it was just literally dying off the rubber, the yellow tape side. When I was playing a shot, forehand or backhand, I found that the ball was just dying off the rubber. So I, therefore, I felt more comfortable with the red side. Yeah, I found the rubber like quite a, quite a hard feel to it. So when we were serving before, um, the red generated a bit of spin, but the yellow was kind of fine. Usually being served, it's quite spinning, but when it was serving, I found I could just turn it easy. The H3neo was a clear winner in this category. Backhand or forehand rubbers? Do you think they suit forehand or backhand better? Forehand, for me, forehand. The red one would suit my forehand. But you wouldn't use the yellow on either side? No, it's too... I can't control it. I could play both on my own backhand, but I'm more comfortable. And would you use those on your forehand, your backhand, or which do you think are better suited to? If I were going to use either of them, I'd, I'd probably use them on the backhand because they're a bit slower, but I personally wouldn't use either of them on my forehand, like something a bit quicker. I'd probably use the red tape side, I'd use that on my backhand side, just to, for a little, little bit more control, but um, I wouldn't use it on my forehand. Again, a split decision. Both Tony and Jericho preferred the Neo on their forehand, whereas Dean and Paul felt it was a little bit too slow for their forehands and preferred it on their backhand. None of the players liked to use Hurricane 3 on either their forehand or their backhand. So which rubbers did our testers prefer, the Hurricane 3 or the Neo? Would you say that the Neo is more t nearer to a European style rubber, which is like your Stinger Boost? It's an all round, a lot more all round, and I, f I felt it, it was, I felt comfortable with that. I didn't feel comfortable with the other. Okay, and which of the two rubbers did you prefer? Pretty bad. Because? Because it felt a little bit more similar to my kind of, it was a bit more spongy, you don't have a hard feel, almost like a super friendship type, but it was like a, Tacky feel to them. Which would you prefer? You, Jericho, you prefer the Neo? Uh, yeah. So all the players preferred the Neo. But how did they compare to the rubbers they're currently using on their own blades? Well, if so I'm, I'm sorry, I'd say my boost was similar to the red, to be honest. I can't use it, I can't generate much spin with that blade. It doesn't feel like it anyway. I mean, this, I've never used, well, I used to use glue all the way through Puma Junior. And this now, the dual energy is more glued up than the one's ever felt. It's faster than it's ever been. So okay, then it's a lot faster than that. Okay, Jericho, how did it compare to you? Um, they're both much more harder than I can't feel any of them. So, so they're both harder than what you're using? Yeah. Well, I'd say the, the 10 inch is definitely faster. And um, those two rubbers would suit more of a defensive play, I would have said, personally. Compared to the 10 inch? Yeah. Spin-wise, spin -wise, I'd say the Tenergy creates a lot more spin as well. I'm getting a lot more spin with the Tenergy than, than with the others. Ability, experience and technique will have a huge impact on how a rubber performs. But there's been a common theme in all of the tests that we've done during these videos, and that's to do with the feel of these rubbers. Both the Hurricane 3 and the Neo felt harder than the players were used to, which made it difficult for them to feel the ball actually hitting the blade surface. If you're used to a softer European mechanical grip type of rubber, you'll probably find the Neo the easier one to adapt to because it feels slightly softer and springier than the Hurricane 3 for our players. However, be prepared. To get the best from these rubbers, you might have to change your technique. Thank you for watching.